Real quick, before we get started, we have a CDH tournament coming up January 28th, Cloud City Games. The information is down below. There's a link to purchase tickets. 64 people. Uh, last time it sold out really quick. Patrons are getting early access to this video, which means they get early access to this link. So it might already be sold out, but we'd love to see you there to play some CDH. All right, let's get into the video. Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cam. This week, we're trying to figure out which commander printed in 2023 is best in CEDH. This video is brought to you by Dragon Shield. Use code PLAYTOWIN5 at the affiliate link down below for 5% off to help support the show. So we have Tyler on Atraxa, Brandon is on Talion, Cam is playing Atali, and I'm playing Obnixilis. <laughs> Any pre games? No. Nope. All right, Tyler, take us away. I will draw off return, Forbidden Orchard, immediately give Brandon one Deathrite Shaman, Mock Temple. So I go. Sounded like he said immediately gave him one Deathrite Shaman. Draw off turn. Command Tower, Mana Crypt, Windfall. I discard a Clear Water Pathway, Force Negation, Camera Souls to Life. Veil of Summer, Mana Crypt, Arid Mesa, Blood Moon, Cursed Mirror. Ooh, turn one Blood Moon, that is good. <laughs> yeah. As excited as I am to be on a Mold of Five and see my ability to be able to draw seven cards, I'm also. A little bit sad because I actually kind of really like this hand. Command Tower, Mana Crypt, Simeon Spirit Guide. Oh, I wouldn't have been able to through a turn one Blood Moon. Arid Mesa, Lion's Eye Diamonds, uh, Shadow Skull Smashing, and Dati Voidwalker. I had Dark Ritual, Draineth Magistrate, Mana Vault, Teferi. Let me draw seven. <laughs> Dude, you're such a fucking dick. <laughs> Mox Diamond. I'm gonna discard Ottawa. Play Blood Chief Ascension. And I'll pass. Cool. Good on my turn. Command Tower as my land. Lotus Petal. Crack Lotus Petal for a black talisman of impulse. Lose one life to make a green to cast a derogatory speaker. I will pass the turn. Draw a card. Polluted Delta. Crack it. Go to 39. Find a Badlands. Cast Ragavan. Pass turn. Untap. Rough return. Great yeah. news, guys. I drew land. I'll crack this Mysterian Forest. Underground Sea, Dylan, I'll exile the land from your graveyard. Tap the Underground Sea I'm fetching for to get an Arcane Signet. Pass the turn. All right, I'll untap. Odds oh, I take damage. Take damage. Draw turn. Mana Vault, Thought Vessel, Cash Time. I'm gonna go with one. And I'll pass. Draw. Play Exotic Orchard, Carpet of Flowers. Time. Yep. I'll draw. Move to my second main. Target Tyler with Carpet of Flowers. Mm -hmm. I will make a green, put a counter on Draga Tree Speaker. Survival of the Fittest. Pass turn. Blood Chief Ascension. We'll get a counter. Untap. Upkeep. Draw card. All right. I'm going to go to combat. Cam, I'm going to come at you for two. Before blocks, I will generate oh, one no, mana no, with no. Forbidden Orchard. And Cam, you can have the spirit. I'm just mad at myself because I remember specifically I needed to attack you for this and I just walked right into it. I think I have to block. I really don't want this Blood Chief Ascension to go yeah. online. So I've been thinking about this for weeks. This is such a stinger. Forbidden Orchard is so fucking good. I completely forgot about it. I had it in my plan. And then as soon as it got to my turn, just out of my memory, lost my rag event for nothing. Yeah, definitely a best use case for a Forbidden Orchard that you're not going to use anyway. Play Luxury Suite, Keteric Parasite. Italian I'll turn. take two. Yep, I'll draw. Pass turn. And at the end step, I'll add a quest counter to whatever this card is called. Blood Chief Ascent. Draw for turn. I drew five lands in that windfall and then two more lands. It's been great. Crack this Flooded Strand. I'll get a Tropical Island. I'll pass the turn after that. No counter for Blood Chief this time. Odds I take damage. Odds three. Draw for turn. Reanimate. Targeting Tyler's Draineth. I will respond by activating Deathrite Shaman and targeting the Draineth in my graveyard. Excellent Draineth. I gain two. Play Land for turn. I'm going to combat attack Tyler. Take three. Moves to end set. Blood Chief gets the third counter. So now it is alive. Can I do something in response to that counter then? Activate survival, discarding fury. Find Dockside. Go to my turn. Draw for turn. Target Tyler with Carpet of Flowers and make two red. I haven't used this, but I untapped this. And I should have taken another point of damage. I think it's just right just to cast Dockside Extortionist first. Italian trigger. There's two. You get a draw. I'm going to show you a Pact of Negation. Pact of Negation resolves. You two lose, each lose two, and I gain four. Second main cast, Grim Monolith. Level up. Pass turn. Untap. Draw card. Graven Cairns. Professional face breaker. Go to combat. Attack Tyler for one. Sure. I'll take one. Trigger. Professional face breaker. Make a treasure. Dragon's Rage Channeler. Italian. Yep. I'll take two. I'll draw. Keteric Parasite will trigger, and you'll take another one. That's it. Go ahead. Untap. In upkeep, I will pay five. Do not lose the game. I am giving the 1 1 spirit to Brandon. Deathrite Shaman is going to exile land from Dylan's graveyard. Draw off return, Verdant Catacombs, and crack it, losing one life. Then it goes to graveyard, and I lose another two to Blood Chief Ascension. I'm going to find a scrub land, and I'll pass the turn. Untap, Mana Crypt. Odds oh, to take damage? No damage. I do take one here. I'll draw. Get a Rick Parasite trigger. Do you damage? Take one. Play Spell Skype, Phantasmovich. Enter as a copy of base breaker i'll go to combat cameron i'm gonna attack you with a three one flyer tyler i'm gonna attack you with a 
one one spirit no blocks here take three i have two treasures i'll stack exile play my land for turn take two i'm gonna do it again exile this other land that'll just live in exile forever i'll pass my turn Go to my turn, untap, upkeep, and draw. Lose one from Keterek Parasite when I draw. First main phase, I will target Tyler with Carpet of Flowers, and I'll make two red mana here. Mana Confluence. Atali. I'm going to force pitching counterbalance. Lose life. I do. I will pass turn. Untap, upkeep, draw card. Play Averting Catacombs. Crack it. When that goes to Graveyard, you'll lose two. I'll gain two. You got it. I'll find a basic swamp. I'm going to cast up next list. I'll go to combat. I'm going to send Dragon's Rage Channeler at Brandon. I'll send Keterek Parasite at Tyler. I'll send Professional Facebreaker at Cameron. No blocks. Tap Forbidden Orchard for blue and give Tyler a 1-1. I'll make a 1-1 spirit. No blocks. No. <laughs> I have a guy's card in hand, idiot. You dick. <laughs> I can't believe I almost walked into that again. But in my defense on this one, Brandon never said he played for Ben Orchard. He just said land for turn. And also last turn I attacked Tyler and he didn't activate it then. So it still is my fault, but I feel like I, I feel like it's not. I feel like it's not because I, I don't want it to be. I'll take two. Take three. Take one. Three treasures with professional face breaker. And then when Keterik deals one damage to you, Obnixus will trigger and I will get a plus one plus one counter on it and exile the top card. It's a reanimate. I'm going to cast this reanimate with one of these treasures on the Doxide Extortionist. Italian. I'll take two. I'll draw. When you draw a card, Keterik Parasite will trigger and I'll deal you one damage. And then when you take a damage, Obnixus will trigger. I'll exile a card and get a counter. I'm going to miss that. Okay. Blood Reaper Trader, so I'll gain two. And I'll take two. Cast Lotus Petal. Pass turn. Untap. Drew off your turn. Keterik Parasite trigger. Do you damage? Abnixus will get a counter, and I'll exile a card. The Mana Crypt. Cast an Imposter Mech. All right, you lose two. I'll draw. Keterik Parasite trigger. It'll do you damage. Abnixus triggers, and I will exile a card and get a counter. It's an Opposition Agent. I will have this enter as an Abnixus. Play Guy's Cradleless Land for turn. I will have Deathrite Shaman exile another land from Dylan's Graveyard. Verdant Catacombs. Cast the Traxa. I will reveal 10 cards. I'm taking Esper Sentinel, Cavern of Souls, Vamp Tutor, Chrome Mox, and Carpet of Flowers. Cast the Carpet of Flowers. You lose two, I draw. Cataract Parasite, do you damage? Yep. Up next, let's trigger. Up next, let's trigger. Get a counter, exile the card. Move to second main. I'll target Brandon with Carpet of Flowers and generate one white. Cast an Esper Sentinel. Italian? Yep. I'll draw. Keter Parasite, do you damage? I'll lose one. Up, Up next, next let's trigger. Pulling Ritual. Lightning Bolt. Pass the turn. Untap. I'll have to take damage. It is damage. Draw for turn. Parasite trigger. Oh, and mana vault. So you get two Obnixilus triggers. Yep. Oh, sweet. Golding turn. Oh, spirit guys. Red Blast. City of Traders. Malevolent Hermit. Gilded Drake. I'm going to take Dylan's op. I'll respond to the trigger. I will Red Elemental Blast the Gilded Drake. Esper Sentinel trigger. And Talion trigger. Talion trigger is definitely going to happen. Esper Sentinel trigger. You can draw. Do you lose two? And I draw. Keterik Parasite trigger. Do you damage? Or Abnexilis is trigger. Thoracle. Imperial Recruiter. Now we're on the Esper Sentinel trigger. You may draw. I will draw. Keterik Parasite trigger. Do you damage? Take a damage. Only my Abnexilis triggers. It's a grape shot. Red Blast on Gilded Drake, I think. I'll sack the Hermit. I'll respond to that ability, casting this Lightning Bolt on your Gilded Drake. Tie and trigger. You may draw a card. And you lose two. When you draw Keterik Parasite, will trigger. Do you damage? Yep. Or Abnexilis is will trigger. A deflecting stun. Pay two life and redirect the bolt to spell sky. That's fine. Bolt goes to the graveyard. Do you lose two and I gain two? Sacrifice the Lotus Petal for a red. Lose two. Bolt bend the ability. Having the counter ability target the bolt. It's going to end up redirecting to the bolt bend instead. I'm going to tap the Forbidden Orchard. Cameron, you can have it. I'll spell pierce. That's personal trigger. You got an personal. I will draw. Keterik Parasite will trigger. I'll deal one damage to you. Yep. When you are dealt damage, I've next this will trigger and I'll exhale another card. Cast Deflecting Swat, targeting the Bill Pierce. And I've missed all of my DRC triggers. <laughs> I'm going to remember this one though. Dragon's Rage Channel trigger. I'll keep it. Yeah, all right. Spell Pierce is gone. Redirected to Deflecting Swat. Yep. Both bend the ability from the creature you sacrifice to it. Mm -hmm. So this fizzles. Red Blast on the Gilded Drake in response to the trigger. Gilded Drake is dead. Oh, uh, you have three Blood Chief. Sure. So I take six. Yep. This is fucking insane. Like I, I know we're probably missing triggers too, but the amount of triggers that are happening right now is it's hard to keep up with. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm land for turn. I'll go to combat. Talion will go with Cam, and my face breaker will go with Dylan. I'll take three. No effects. Take two. Two treasures. Pass. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Keterik Parasite will trigger. Do you damage? Yep. When you take a damage, you're up next to the trigger. First main, Tyler, you still have two islands. I sure do. Yeah, I'll target you for two red. Cast Atali. ETB, let's all exile the top cards of our library until we hit a non land. Oh, you son of a bitch. Snuff out. You found a food chain on top of my library. Oh, wow. You found a Prater Grasp on mine. 
This is how I would like to cast these spells. You may draw a card for Esper Sentinel. Yeah, Esper Sentinel trigger on the stack. I'm gonna respond to it. Technically, yeah, we need a target for Snuff Out. Ah, uh, yeah, we need a target for Snuff and, Out. And all of the targets. Hit Spell Skate with Snuff Out, Food Chain on the stack, Praise Grasp on the stack, Noxious Revival targeting my Cursed Mirror. Italian resolve first. Yeah, you lose two. Mm -hmm. I draw. Cut repair side triggers. Yep. So you damage. Ah. Obnixless triggers. I hit a crop rod. Twin flame. Responding to Esper. Dylan, I'm giving you a 1 1 spirit. Cast a vamp tutor. Time. I'm going to lose two. Cataract parasite trigger. Deal you damage. Obnixless. Oh Cloudstone curio. Reanimate. I'll end up losing four. Two for me going to graveyard for blood cheese and two for itself. I'm putting a card on top. Opt to pay for Esper Sentinel. Snuff out targeting Spell Sky. No, but that go to graveyard? Yes. Uh, so you lose two? I lose two. I'm getting two. Food chain. Predator's Grasp is who did I say this was targeting? Dill. Found a card. Noxious Revival, return Cursed Mirror to the top of my library. And then you lose two. I'm gonna get two. Yep. Chrome Mox, pitching this Pyrokinesis. Lose a life, put Defense Grid on the stack. Up next list, trigger. Me too. Chrome Mox. Mind Break Trap. Flash in Avalith Spawn. Yeah, that's fine, because you can't cast anything through Defense Grid at that point. Yes. Oh, yep. that is true. So that's fine, yeah. So that's a, that's oh, a no. <laughs> yeah. Big old boo-boo. That actually messes up my whole plan. I was really happy that Noxious Revival could put the Curse Mirror on top of my library so that this extra trigger I would get would get me an extra, extra trigger by copying my Atali ZTB. And now I have to kind of formulate a whole different plan. Defense Grid? Yep. Cool. Let's exile Atali to my food chain for eight red. Go to one more red, which is nine red. Make two more red, which is 11. Cast Atali. Brandon also has an ETB trigger, which will also, so that would also exile things. These are me, so yeah. So you can't cast any of these spells though. Yeah, because you don't have the mana. But they are exiled. All right, so now mine goes off. Jeweled Lotus, Chain of Vapor, Fluster Storm, Eldritch Evolution. All right, I'm not casting the Fluster Storm. I am casting the Jeweled Lotus, so that will resolve first. Cast this Eldritch Evolution, sacrificing Atali. Does that still trigger Blood yeah. Ascension? Yeah, you'll lose two. Okay. No, 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 this is exiled. I mean the Atali going to graveyard and then... No, because no, it's, it's not, going, not to going to graveyard. It does go to graveyard. Oh, it does, it oh, goes graveyard. go to graveyard and then goes to the command zone. Oh, then yes, it would. Go get Ewit. Return Dockside. Exile Ewit, make four red mana and use two of it on Dockside. Done. Yep, lose two. Ruh. Parasite trigger, do you damage? And our uh, next list is full trigger. Put it in. Moxable. Dockside. ETB trigger. Do you get a copy of it too? I do. I'll pop my jeweled lotus. All right, you'll lose two and I'll gain two. All right, so now you get a dockside trigger. The 13. So this whole thing is really unfortunate. So I can't win the game yet. What I need to do is try to get more Atali triggers so that I can find something that's going to combo with this food chain. What I didn't think through entirely is how many treasures this dock side is gonna give the Aboleth spawn. My dock side trigger on the stack. Cast Limb Jewels Vault. I have an S percentile trigger, I believe. Are you paying it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll draw. Cataract Parasite will trigger. I will do you one damage, and then my next list will trigger. Exiling and a braid. So look at the top five. All right, I will pay one life. Look at the top five. Uh, I'll pay one life. All right, one. Uh, one. Uh, I'll pay one life. Okay, I'm stopping here. Whose jeweled lotus is this? This is your Mine. jeweled lotus. Oh, so it went to my oh, graveyard. Went to graveyard. So you have two more life and you have two less. Six counters for each of us and six cards for each of us. Incredible. <laughs> Reckless Fireweaver, All Will Be One, Dockside Extortionist, Grinding Station, Mana Confluence. Abrupt Decay, Silence, Force of Negation, Displacer, Kitten, Abyssin's Program. My Dockside Trigger's back on the stack. I will stack two of them to add a blue and a black, and then I'll pass for it. Six plus 11 is 17. Atali. ETB Trigger, Abolith Spawn, ETBs, Rite of Flame. Brain Freeze. Agatha's Soul Cauldron. Plus Life. Brain freeze is great. It kills you because of blood chief ascension. Yeah, it kills yeah. all of us. That's the game. I don't know if it kills all of you. I have to. I don't actually know the storm count. <laughs> I have to see what the storm count is because <laughs> it's actually real math. So it's thirteen total triggers. So I can cast brighter flame to fourteen, right? I'm trying to think of when the storm the storm trigger hits the stack at the same time that all of the other triggers hit the stack. So yeah, maybe that Rite of Flame doesn't add to the Storm for Brain Freeze. I don't think it matters because our life totals are very low. Either way, every copy of the Brain Freeze is three cards hitting the graveyard, which means Blood Chief Ascension will trigger three times for it. Which is six damage per copy of Brain Freeze, which is plenty to take out the table. The actual Brain Freeze makes a 15. And this hits me for two. When oh, you that, goes, that goes there, yeah. so it hits you for two. So I only need to do six there. Three times 15 is plenty, is way more than this total, yeah. and you totally got it. 
That was a crazy fucking game. I'm sure we missed some triggers. Talion is awesome. That was a great showing of Blood Chief Ascension. Is that what that card is? Yeah, between Blood Chief Ascension and Abolith Spawn, this deck showed off some really powerful and unconventional CEDH cards. Yeah, and seeing Keteric Parasite be so extremely busted at Obnixilis was great. Having Tyler copy the Obnixilis, there was a lot of shit going on in this game, but it was a great way to end the year, I think. Yeah, I think so too. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon, like our 100 dollar patron devlin mark cirillo alan but in lowercase zachary nelson she doesn't even go here socal acura stormageddon luke cook aj albosebi demon of rosgris uncle butts kawaja a hamid lauren connell and baby Jeebus. if you want to pick up any of our merch you can do that at play to mtg.com thank you so much to dragon shield for supporting the show you can help support the show too by using our affiliate link in code play to win five for five percent off your order if you want to pick up any of our social media you can do that at uh so uh, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Should we talk about our $50 patrons? Yes, let's do it. Alex, Alex Musselman, Tyler, Tyler the Tree, Malcraft, Driving Krona, Jabaha, Dalton Poteet, Lutri's Dad, Shepherd, Justin, Man Solo, Pedro, Jacob, Michael Ballou, Thomas Bueno, and David Nelson. Thanks, y'all. I blame all my problems on Final Cut, even though I caused them in Final Cut. Good. Good? Good. Good.